Wow. Sure is something up there. It's beautiful. The Chicago pepperoni. That's right, the key ingredient in a genuine Chicago style deep dish pizza. Mm, pizza. And tonight, when our deluded shipmates are forced to satisfy themselves with rancid turkey delight and, and soggy green beans and canned peaches. Mm, canned peaches. Yeah. We'll be in the kitchen whipping up the most awesome pizza in the history of the North Atlantic. Dude, I, I don't think Nigel will give you his key to the kitchen, though. Jimmy. Oh, he'll give up that key with a smile. Dude, that, that guy never smiles. Oh, he will this time. I guarantee it. Remember Saudi Arabia? When Nigel gave the whole royal family food poisoning? I'm the one that smoothed things over with the sheik. That's right. Cost me 10 Michael Jordan jerseys. Yeah, that was then. This is now. No, no, no. Listen, I understand the way Nigel's dome works. Okay? At most, I'm talking at most, we'll have to pony up a slice. But listen, Jimmy, look at me. This, this is our little secret, okay? If word gets out about this, we'd be lucky to get our hands on a pile of napkins soaked in grease. Grease. So listen, I got a bowl. What? No goodbye kiss? Not here. Mm. Too late. <laughs> hey, Tams. Hi. Tamira! Uh, well... <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Nigel, my good man. Late. Oh, no, no, no. Stole the vittles, Gov. You see, uh, we're here to talk business. My associate and I would like access to your esteemed kitchen so that we may... Nobody may use my kitchen. Especially not that creature. You see, I didn't want to go there, but since you leave me no other choice... You remember Abu Dhabi? No. Should I? <laughs> well, maybe this will refresh your memory. Oh, this is good, Nat. Oh, 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 my God! Oh, oh, oh. Incident is in very poor taste. Oh, what, and your turkey delight isn't? Let me tell you something, Nigel. Okay, she begins the law to serve that to minors. Now, the kitchen keys, if you please. Well, this to be a fair arrangement. I must receive something in return. Like what, Nigel? A manicure. A what? Do you see these hands? Yeah. Mmm, turkey delight. By the time we reach Dublin in two days, hence, I want these fingers shaped, buffed, and gleaming for my rendezvous with Maggie. <laughs> Nigel got so honey. Ah. How am I supposed to get your manicure on this tugboat? How you manage it is your concern. But no manicure, no kitchen key. Touching that man's greasy hands. What do you take me for? A savvy businesswoman? A woman who knows how to get what she wants, huh? Do go on. Jimmy, put that down. So what, pray tell, do I want? You tell me. Phone time. We get 30 minutes of overseas calls a month, and I have zero minutes remaining. I want your phone time, Sean Hanlon. No can do, sweets. I used all of mine. Guess you'll just have to think of something else. I desperately need to speak with my boyfriend, Tyler. So until I hear his sweet voice on the line, you can forget about Nigel's manicure. Beating 
Tamara. Tamara, come on. You have to talk to me sometime. No, I don't. Okay, but it's pretty hard to be friends that way. Yeah, well, it's pretty hard to be friends with someone who doesn't care about someone else's feelings, who steals the love of someone else's life, so someone has, like, no choice but to sit alone while someone kisses Max every night. Wait, I'm confused. Am I someone or someone else? Just go. Let me wallow. Tamira, I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. Here, I made this friendship bracelet for you. I want us to be friends again. I want things to go back to the way they were before all this stuff with Max. Really? The way they used to be? How do you spell that? Cassidy, this means so much to me. No one's ever done something like this for me before. It's just some strain. Sure, I can spare some phone time. <sighs> Alex, you're the best. All right, now it's 9.30, I got time to go over to Yeah, what's in it for me, big guy? <clears throat> All right, name your price, okay? I got the autographed Cubs baseballs. I got some Rodman and Press on tattoos. I got some Bears jerseys. Lucky sweats. What? I got a pair of lucky sweats with a hole in it, and I don't sew. <clears throat> okay, let me get this, but you want me to sew up your skanky sweats? Okay, tell me, what do I look like here? Betsy Ross? Get this. <sighs> Okay, uh, I got a good idea. How about some new sweats? Where are you going? Oh, I gotta go make a phone call. Oh no, you don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. Help. Can you help? Help me. Help me. So how exactly do you get seasick anyway? Is it those big uh, rolling waves, or is it those little bouncy ones that go bump, bump, uh, bump, bump, bump? Or is it all in your mind? What's that uh, word again? Psycho, psychotic. Uh, psychosomatic. Whatever. Anyway. The good news is, Tamir and I are friends again. Isn't that great? Splendid. Well, on a scale from eight to 10, how do I look? Mm. I'll take that as a 10. See ya. Cassidy. Oh, girl, you are the bee's knees. Cat's pajamas, I'm talking the living eh. Translation? You look money. Thanks, but duh. And how's my little strident feminist? Oh, go away. Randy. Oh, feeling the motion of the ocean, huh? Yeah. Listen, how'd you like to take your mind off all your troubles? Oh. Some simple stitching. <laughs> it's just child's play for a seamstress of your caliber. Get me a drama mean first. Seasick pills, don't you have any? No, the infirmary's been out since we hit that big storm. <sighs> Have you guys seen Cassidy? On a date with Max. With Max? But she said things were back to normal. She said that she wasn't gonna... Oh. This is life and death, okay? You gotta get Denise or seasick pills, whatever it takes. <laughs> you know what? There's only one thing missing tonight. Music. It'd be so nice to slow dance under the moonlight. Come here. Hmm. I'll hold my turn for you. Ha! Max, buddy, you got any drama, mean dude? Oh, are you guys busy? Get out of here. No, dude, man, Sean needs some. We'll do anything for it, man. Come on. Anything? My orders are strict, dude. Anything it takes. Whatever it takes. Here's what it takes. I need my boombox back. Oh, your boombox, dude, no prop. Where is it? It's in my old man's office. Hey, Tams, you're up late. Don't hate Tams me. What's wrong? You lied to me. You said you wanted things back the way they were before, and before, you weren't dating Max. I never said that. You're unbelievable. Me? What about you? Who are you to tell me who I can date? Correct. Who am I? I don't want this. We're not friends anymore. Maybe we never were. Hey there, El Capitan. Hey, listen, you know, um, 
Jimmy and I, we were just talking about hey, how, Jimmy. you know, Max seems really down in the dumps lately. Oh, and I suppose you have a remedy in mind. Well, you know, actually, um, you know, Max is a music man, a music man, me. Gentlemen, my son can have his stereo back anytime he wants. <gasps> Are you serious? Yes. All he has to do is promise not to play loud music on deck after 10 p.m. <sighs> That's all? And I want it in writing. <laughs> you know, Max is never going to sign that note, dude. Yes, you will. <sighs> okay, so listen, this first goes into a bar, okay? And he says to the bartender, he's like, hey, why the long face? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> Who ever heard of a horse in a bar? <laughs> How about a smile? You try and smile after your best friend stabs you in the back. I got an idea. How would you like to do something to make Max boy really happy? All you gotta do is use your world famous forging skills and write a note in Max's handwriting. Huh? I'm Max Ballard. Promise not to use my boombox on the deck after 10. Okay. But there's something you have to do for me. I want you to get a picture of Max for my scrapbook. Oh, the guy's a vampire. He never lets anyone take snaps of him. That's the only thing I want. <sighs> exactly when do y'all plan on getting me my phone time? I haven't spoken with my Tyler in three agonizing days. Just cool your jets, Duchess, okay? You'll be doing the transatlantic gab tonight, okay? I'd better. Oh, and don't try any of your little nonsense or it's bye-bye. Don't ask. What does she mean we were never friends? I got her her first date. By the way, he was a total god. Plus, I was the one that taught her how to dress. I was the one that taught her how to dance. I was an awesome friend. Cassidy, don't ruin your friendship over a guy. She's the one that's ruined it, oh. not me. Oh. Anyway, I'm sick of her. If this is the way she wants it to be, oh. fine with me. Greetings and felicitations, dolls. What's this? This? This is your sewing assignment. <laughs> oh, these are Alex's. Why are you doing this for him? The same reason I'm scrounging up your drama, me. The beauty, that is me. Oh! Oh, now I feel really sick. Oh, hey. Hey, listen, you know what? Uh, I really need a picture of Max. Why? Well, it's for the yearbook. The yearbook. Yeah, they're doing this whole layout on cool people. <laughs> cool, cool people. They already have my picture, of course. They could. Okay, but just bring it back, okay? Yeah, sure. Oh, that a smile. <gasps> Score. Dude, dude, what's the matter? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, dude, that was a 10. Whew. Now I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. You may bow down before me. Yeah, dude, you got the picture. You're awesome. <laughs> dude, Max has a really nice smile. I know. Hey, listen, now what we got to do is bring it to a dark room, get a copy made for Tamara, and then... <gasps> Then it's Pizza City time, baby. Oh, yeah, and I'm the mayor. Ah. Oh. Hey! I got a bench press contest tonight. I need my lucky sweats. And you'll get them, baby. It just might take a little longer than we expected, but... No, I don't think you understand. If I don't get my lucky sweats, I lose. And I hate losing. And I really hate people who make me lose. Get it? What was that second thing you said? Front time, Jimbo. Here's what you gotta do. Take Nigel and Ashley into Alex's room, get her to do the manicure while she's on the phone. Okay? You got that? Can you handle that? <laughs> of course you can't. What am I talking about? But unfortunately, you're my only hope, okay? Go, go. Go. Who loves you, baby? Oh! Sean! It's perfect! I love it! All right, oh, listen, I don't want to break you. up this beautiful moment, but do you have the, you know, the... Mm. Wait. Here. <gasps> it's a pleasure.
pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Pizza City. I met Maggie Fitzroy when I was pastry chef at the Royal Dublin Hotel. It was a forbidden love. <clears throat> I was merely kitchen staff and she was guest relations. But the flame still burns brightly to this day. Would you please stop grossing me out? Yeah, Nigel, why don't you just keep it clean, Kay? I was talking to you. Shh. I'll let your fingers do the walking, princess, because the eagle has landed. Yes! I'm still waiting on my boombox. Yeah, ten minutes. I'm meeting Cassidy in five. Hey. Hi, Max. Where did you get this? Mine. Oh, guess again. Where do you think Sean got it from? I got to hand it to you, Hanlon. I didn't think Max would do it. Yeah, well, you know, Kim, I got to tell you, honestly, sometimes I miss myself. <laughs> so what about that stereo, you think? This letter is a forgery. He made me do it. Hanlon, explain. <laughs> Hold that thought. Hanlon! What's the matter? We're supposed to have tunes tonight. What's the matter with you? Mm, just my ex-friend Tamira and Kim. Papa's got a brand new box. That's not my boom box. Well, it is now. And since I kept up my end of the bargain, you still want my drama, me? Yes. <laughs> Please. They're yours. Yeah. Say aspirin, I say dramamine. It's not quibble. I'm allergic to aspirin. You want me to blow up like a blowfish? <laughs> no! What? Staples? Look, what are you trying to pull here? I just had a minor labor dispute, so I might need a little more time, so. That's it. Phone time is over. What? No, listen. <laughs> Ashley's using your phone, okay? You don't want to disturb her, do you? Ash? Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah? Wait a minute. Why didn't she ask me herself? There's sugar pie. She's talking to Tyler? No. Well, who is that in the background? Tyler. <clears throat> oh. oh, no. Tyler? <sighs> this manicure is over. Sean, sure. get! Mm. No, I just can't! If you ever show your face in my dining hall again, there'll be a little extra something in your tuna surprise. Hanlon, my office, 8 a.m. sharp. Man, this is good pizza. Who wants the last piece? Me. <gasps> my pizza. And it was delectable. <laughs> Dude, you know where I can order away for some of that pepperoni? It was good. Shimmy. Shimmo, how could you do this to me? It wasn't easy, man. It's like my eighth piece. Um, 
You gonna lick that? <laughs>